Just so you know, he brought over to me first and then over to you. You say the best for last. <laughs> what can you say about the first ASA of the year? You're walking down the hill behind the Graham Creek Nature Preserve in Foley, Alabama toward the practice bags. The sun is shining, the air is warm, the pine trees are swaying in the breeze, arrows are flying downrange. Did we miss this? Yes, we did. Six months have passed since we last were together for the ASA Classic in Coleman. At the same time, it feels like that was years ago and it feels like that was just weeks ago. The Hoyt Easton Pro-Am brought the ASA family back together again, and man, did everyone show up. A record 2019 archers descended on Foley to kick off the 2023 season with a bang. Everyone was eager to get back on the ranges, as evidenced by the record 600 archers who showed up for the Zebra Bowstrings team shoot on Thursday. If you can't have fun at the team shoot, it might be time to try a different sport. Yep, looks very good. Whoa. Woo. Woo. Pros and amateurs on the ranges, slinging arrows, and sharing laughs and technical information. PJ, there you go. I can't hit a 12. Christopher Perkins, what do you think about PJ Riley? I heard he just hit a 12 on that one. You did. How close was it? It was almost out. On camera? And I didn't have to call it. Was it on camera? It was. Oh my goodness. He's got it for shot of the week this year, guys. I'm telling you, he's bringing his game. It's the perfect prelude to the real competition that started Friday. I could do with the pressure more often I shoot better. <laughs> if I was judging, I would have whiffed. For the first time in ASA history, six classes of pros headed out into the pine forest at Graham Creek. Open Pro, Women's Pro, Senior Pro, Known Pro, and the two new additions to the ASA's pro ranks, Women's Known Pro and Senior Known Pro. Whether you prefer judging distance or using a rangefinder, there's now a pro class for everyone. Huh. Easy one, right? Oh yeah, that's an easy one. Look down there and see how easy you think it is. <laughs> to accommodate the new classes, the city of Foley took on the monumental task of clearing two new ranges in some of densest forest at Graham Creek. The lanes were tight but clear. The paths in were fresh but maneuverable. Let's have a good time. Shoot them up. Paige Pierce, a well-known target archer who worked tirelessly for two years toward building support for a women's known pro class, felt compelled to show up and show out for the debut of the class. And to no one's surprise, she ended qualification atop the leaderboard with an impressive score of 42 up, 24 points ahead of the four ladies who were all tied behind her. Randy Morocco, another highly accomplished target archer, battled a talented slate of archers to lead the way into the senior known pro shoot downs. He's not saying he's going back with her. Oh, I'll bet you I'd be a higher, as good or a higher score if I would have lucked into something. The Hammer, Tim Gillingham, dominated the senior pro class in 2022, winning five of the six ASA tournaments. He made the switch to senior known pro for 2023 and found plenty of tough competition, taking the number two seat into the shootdowns behind Morocco. Three of the four other pro classes saw familiar names leading the way into the shootdowns. Kevin Cook in Senior Pro, Sharon Wallace in Women's Pro, and Dan McCarthy in Open Pro. Known Pro saw a name on top of the leaderboard that's relatively new to ASA, but well known in archery. Former world champion and reigning USA national target champion Jimmy Lutz crushed the Known Pro courses Friday and Saturday to head into the shootdown with a record score of 60 up. We've never seen 60 up in any of the pro classes at the ASA. The shootdowns headed indoors Saturday afternoon to the Foley Sports Complex, which quickly filled with excited fans. There's Paige right there. She's a beast. 12. Got it. Women's known pro went as expected with Paige Pierce cruising to the title. My indoor season's been awesome, and so transitioning from that right to ASA is kind of stressful. So I didn't know what to expect, so I'm really glad it all came together. We just yeah. need to tend to win this thing. Boom. There we Center go. 10. 
That's all he needed. Randy Morocco seemed to be the only senior known pro who felt comfortable in the finals, and he held on for the win as well. We love to shoot. We're all out there. We're, we're good friends. Um, it, we have a great time with, with all of our guys, and it feels good that you know we're shooting a pro class here at the ASA, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Put it back in the middle and pull like crazy, girl. Eight points. Eight points. That's, That's all he enough. needed. <laughs> That's all she needs. Sharon Wallace came into the women's pro finals with a healthy lead, but some stellar shooting from her competition whittled that down ahead of the six arrow. Yep. Boom. She needed that. She needed that. Wallace did what she needed to do, though, and held on for her first win of the season a day after her 50th birthday. Does Sharon Wallace still have it? Yes, she does. Like I said, I've had a really rough off season. A lot of stuff's happened. So to be able to come here and just keep it together and be able to win the first one, I, I just, I have so many emotions going through me right now. I, I don't even know what to say right now. We got four points between first and fifth. We could see some mixing up going on right here in this shoot down. The senior pro shoot down was a wild ride. Tony Tazza came in as the number four seed but was only three points off the lead. There he goes. Yeah. Tony's, he's making some moves. He hit a couple bonus rings and quickly climbed to the top of the Six leaderboard. By Matthews, that bow. Oh, he's not gonna like where that one landed. After shooting a five, Jeff Good Hopkins point. followed with a 12 on the Coyote, the longest and smallest target on the floor, so to get to within four of Tazza. For the sixth he and final arrow, Hopkins center punched a 14, Gosh. which forced Tazza to hit either a 12 or a 14 to take the win. Tony's shot was high of the lower 12 for a 10, and Hopkins stole the show. Awesome. That was fun. That was a lot of fun out there. It was fun right up the point where I fived the black bug, but wow. You know, I just made a weak shot. I set this phase four up for Matthews I, about seven days ago, and I tell you, I've shot it so well in practice that coming out here tonight, I had a lot of confidence, a lot of confidence. Yeah. These guys are the cream of the crop with, in unknown yardage judgers. This is going to be a good race. With 12s and 14s in play, we don't know who's going to win this one yet. In open pro, Dan McCarthy came into the final with an eight-point lead over the other four archers, who all were tied at 418. Well, I think that got it, yeah. That's... He shot that 14. That's how you make a move right there. Levi Morgan was one of those guys, and he only made it into the finals by winning a one-arrow shoot-off that otherwise would have sent him home. Once he got to the shoot-down, it was clear Levi's mindset was, if you ain't first, you're last. Or, or, are you kidding me? Or, <laughs> Darren Christenberry. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Morgan hit three 14s out of his six arrows to reel in and pass McCarthy and add further credence to his legend as one of the best 3D archers we've ever seen. Yeah, there was no doubt I was going to earn that win. When, when you got McCarthy eight points ahead of you or McCarthy 20 points behind you, you're going to earn the win. And, and I just made a decision. It's never been my style to lay up. And I just come in here and I said, I'm either going to make a run at it or I'm going to be in fifth. And um, I, picked, I picked the ones I wanted to be aggressive at and I hit all the ones I aimed at. And Shooting for Darton, James Lutz. In known pro, Jimmy Lutz carried that record 60 up into the finals but that was only eight points better than the fifth place qualifier. With rangefinders in use, you knew it was gonna be a dogfight. Kyle got it. Yeah. 2022 Known Pro Shooter of the Year, Kyle Douglas hit five of five bonus rings to put himself in the lead. Mike Tyrell's trying to talk him into going yeah. for a bonus ring. Shoot the center 10, Kyle, <laughs> yeah. and go to the bank Monday morning and cash all those checks. Only his sixth yeah. and final arrow did not hit a bonus ring, but that's only because he needed just an eight to win. He shot a 10 and walked off with the big prize. I think that one is good. Sunday morning was the nicest day of the weekend. Sunny skies, cooler air, less humidity. It was the perfect way for the amateurs to end the perfect ASA weekend. Many archers found success during the weekend, Many found ways they need to improve their game. The Black Eagle Dart and Pro-Am at Fort Benning is just four short weeks away, so get out and get to work. We'll see you at Uchi Creek.